Hello, I'm Kevin McDougal with District 12. It's been a long week here at the Capitol in Oklahoma City, and I can tell you in three days of hearing bills, I got uh, just a little over six hours total sleep in three days. And so today I'm a little bit more tired than usual when we're doing these V-blogs, but I did want to let you know exactly what we did this week. I was honored this week that we had the Veteran of the Week come all the way up from Coweta, uh, and he and his wife, Dwayne and Kay Gines, they also came in with the Rolling Thunder, and the Rolling Thunder we honored because the Rolling Thunder, what they do is they make sure that our POWs and our MIAs are never forgotten. Over 60,000 veterans that have not made it home. Warriors who went to fight for us and still have not come home, and so they make sure that we don't forget. Another big thing this week, we had bills 1468 and 1470, and what those bills did was remove or at least extend the statute of limitations on both the criminal and the civil side to the age of 45. And those bills both passed unanimously, which is unheard of for a bill like that. It'll now go to the Senate. We're also concentrating more on budget now. So today we had our subcommittee meeting my subcommittee is the Natural Resources and Regulatory Services. So we look at all the state agencies that have to do with anything with natural resources. In talking about 1468 and 1470, you can click the links below to make sure you go see the press conference and other links related to those two bills. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a great week, and I look forward to seeing some Senate bills next week.